All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my little live stream. We are way out east on Long Island. I mean, way out east. And uh, it's quite the windy morning. It was quite the windy Sunday. Decided to go with the wacky uh, camera setting today to show the craziness out here at the ocean. With that, I say good morning to Honky Tonk, Tennessee. Hup one, hup two, hack two Yes, hock to eat to you and yours. It's a stupid Monday. Uh, what's up, Nick? How are you? Uh, good to see you, my friend. RJ Hinners, how are you? Morning, GH. Hope you had a good weekend, everybody. What's up, Ted Palawada? We got Sean McGill. Good morning, Open Squad. Good morning to you. To you. Sending stars motivates Opie to continue live streaming daily. Yeah, but the stars thing isn't working on the Facebook, and there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no way to figure it out. You just... You write an email hoping that uh, a non-robot will eventually get to you and help your uh, situation. But I know we still get uh, we get the uh, the super chats on the YouTube. So, you know, if you want to throw me a fiver, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course I do. Morning, Opster. Greetings from Sheldon, Iowa. Aluminum Tarmac checking in from Iowa. What's going on in Iowa? Wayne Boo Atkins. Good morning, my friend. Cheers to you, sir. Hope you're going to have a fine... No, no one has a fine Monday. What am I talking about? Mondays just suck. Do you know anyone that, uh, you know, you see on a Monday and they go, Oh, it's Monday. I couldn't be more excited. Never. I mean never. Ross Dog's Broken Spirit. You're not first Ross Dog's Broken Spirit. You're like, you're like 59. As people continue to come into uh, the chat. What's up, Gail? Good morning. Good morning, Andy Fallen. Hope you're hanging in there. Heat wave. Is the heat wave over? I don't know if the heat wave is over. I, I don't think the heat wave is over because it's just, what, summer, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, Vincent Scaramuzzo. Got, got to love a cute southern girl for saving the internet and giving us all a fun distraction. Hot toy! That's the new Baba Booey, I think. Hot toy! Uh, anybody watch the golf over the weekend? You had an exciting uh, finish with the Scheffler and uh, that chubby Tom Kim. They're on the uh, the 18th hole, you know? Everything is uh, very, very exciting and set up for a very fine uh, end to the tournament. And then you get these stupid protesters coming out of the woodwork. I don't know. There were four or five of them, and they're throwing baby powder on the 18th hole like little babies disrupting the whole thing. One guy's like, look at me, I'm throwing baby powder. And he just gets tackled, blindside tackled from behind. Good. Good. And then in the end, no one gave a crap about the protest. No one even knows what the protest was about. And they finished the tournament and uh, Scheffler won, right? Yeah, Scheffler beat uh, Tom Kim, who's a damn good player on the PGA. What's up, Tim? How are you? Stupid protesters. Oh, my God. It seems to be a kind with the stupid protesters, right? It's never anyone cool that you'd want to have a few beers with. Oh, God. Thomas Christie. Hey, Hope. Greetings from Sneed, Kentucky. Where the hell is Sneed, Kentucky? South Pride Worldwide, bro. South Pride Worldwide, bro. I, I, I don't mind the South, my friend. Big fan of the South. Uh, I don't, but I don't know where Sneed, Kentucky is, and and what is Sneed, Kentucky uh, known for? Every little, uh, every little neck of the woods in America is known for something. Well, what are you known for in Sneed, Kentucky? Like we're known for our clams on Long Island. A lot of clamming communities here on Long Island. That's what we're known for. That and uh, Billy Crystal. <laughs> Notice I didn't pick Billy Joel. Notice I didn't pick uh, Eddie Murphy. I went with Billy Crystal. Don't don't mind my she's a maniac. She's a maniac. Uh, fucking top. This is this is the softest thing I own. And then the stupid designer's like, hey, let's make a giant hole, a giant hole for the head. So now I feel like I'm in that stupid uh, dancing movie. What the hell was it called? She pulls the dumb cord and the water falls from above. And then you know there was some teamster on the side of the stage going, Oh, great. Now I got to clean it up. 
So don't mind the main. She's a maniac, and I would dance for you, but I got the, I got holes in my uh, in my uh, in my sweatpants that is not appropriate for for the live stream. Okay, but I hope everyone had a fine weekend. I uh, we had a good weekend until the sandblasting started. Yesterday was going just fine. A little beach day, you know. A little dog running around, uh, catching up with some people on the beach. People we haven't seen all winter. And then uh, all of a sudden, oh, what's that? It looks like it's getting a little breezy. A little breezy. And then an hour later, we were getting sandblasted to death. Holy crap. I think it helped this old man's face, though. I just stuck my uh, my face to the west and just... Pfft, just got sandblasted. Nice. Real nice. Scott Watson, good morning to you, sir. How are you? Hope you had a good weekend, my friend. Uh, RJ Hitters, I heard the Hawk Tua on the golf coverage this weekend. Did you? I heard the stupid Baba Booey. I guess the Baba Booey is now a big part of the PGA. Every time someone tees off, you hear the distance. Baba Booey! Yeah, Baba Booey to you, you idiot! You idiot! <laughs> But Baba Boo, oh Baba Booey, yeah, oh my God, shut down the whole broadcast. Someone yelled Baba Booey. Could we find that person? He's a menace to society. He's yelling Baba Booey. Yeah, the stupid Baba Booey. Aluminum tarmac. All right, hey yo, what do you think about Ken Hinckley's prospects as a future coach? Is he finally on the way out? Oh, who the hell is Ken Hinckley? Oh, are you gonna make me Google? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. All right. I'm gonna go with this. Who the hell, Coach? I, I'm gonna assume Coach. Who the hell is Coach Ken Hinckley? I'll tell you uh, right off the bat. Ken Hinckley. Ken Hinckley is the senior coach of the Port Adelaide Football Club in the Australian Football League and a former player with the Geelong. The Geelong, the Geelong Football Club. What is Australian football? Oh damn! I think Australian football is the one that makes uh, the NFL look like a bunch of wimps, right? Is Australian football where they play just football without any equipment at all? I know, I know, there's a rugby thing, but I think Australian football or one of them. They have a lot of the same football rules, but a lot less equipment, and they just headhunt. Is that Australian football, my friend? I need to know. Donna needs to know. Uh, podcast Media, happy Monday. Oh, need to see if I can have an interview with you, man. Everyone wants an interview with me. Well, not really. Not really. I do get a request for an interview probably once a week. I don't. I I would rather do my own thing. If you want to come on here, uh, podcast media, and ask me a question or two, uh, you know, you know what? I'll do this. Look, look, look what I'll do. Copy. Now, uh, in the comments, anybody that clicks on this link could literally be on the live stream. There you go. There you there you go. Thomas Christie. Hey, oh, not a lot here in my hometown, mostly agriculture. Oh, okay, feed and seed, that sort of thing. Keep it real, bro. You know what? I don't mind that at all, Thomas Christie. Oh, it's flash dance. Oh, yeah, I got the flash dance top on. She's a maniac, maniac. Is she really a maniac? Oh, my God, watch out for her. She's a live wire. Is she a hawk to we? She's a maniac, maniac. No, she's not. No, she's not. What is, she, what is she just trying to make it in, in the dance world, is she? Well, she's getting on everyone's bad side with the stupid water move. Guess what? You're not going to be invited back to that particular club if your move is to have it rain from the ceiling. Because the union guys don't appreciate that. Figure it out. Figure it out. It's not Footloose. It's Flash Dance. Flash Dance. Andy Vollin for the win. Vincent Scaramuzzo go in the corner. Now, Footloose was that other stupid movie where the whole town had to get together and band dancing. We can't have dancing in this town. And then that, 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 that gee. <laughs> no offense to the, you knows. No offense to the you knows, but it, it takes a, a, a certain type to, 
ban all the teenagers together to try to bring dancing to your town. What a dumb move. We can't dance anymore. What are we going to do? I don't know. We got to get the rest of the teenagers together. Maybe we can dance near the train tracks. But they're going to catch us. It's a very religious town. They're going to catch you dancing. Oh, and then the teenagers, they win in the end, and they get to do their dancing. Oh, God, we had stupid movies growing up, didn't we, folks? We sure did. John Cords, good morning, Open Squad. Good morning, John Cords, all the way down there in Philly. Hawk Tui, chick is hilarious. Yeah, she's taking the internet by storm. She's, uh, she's aight. She's aight. She's an aight girl. We don't mind the Hawk Tui. Good morning, GH and Squad. I'm back in Michigan, finally. Boston was a blast. What were you doing in Boston, Greg Buell? How about you How about you and your robots stay away from Boston, okay? I hold a special place in my heart for Boston, and we don't need your robots up there, okay? <laughs> Greg, is uh, he works with the robots. Yes, he does. And it's scaring everybody. Oh yeah, we got a game seven in the uh, in the cup, right? I mean, you know, I'm in America, so I guess I got to go Panthers. I don't know much about the Panthers, but why would I want the cup back in Edmonton? In Edmonton, I don't want it in Edmonton, so I have to go Panthers, right? Hell yeah! Uh, flash dance. Yeah, wait, it's Flash Dance and Footloose. Yeah, we had a lot of dancing movies growing up. How stupid is that? Uh, what's Angry Rich saying? Uh, any star rugby or Australian football player wouldn't last 15 minutes in the NFL. Oh, damn! Somebody's somebody's defending the NFL. I want to make it perfectly clear that I'm a fan of the WNBA. Uh, people thought I was trolling on my Twitter because I watched the, uh, the Angel Reese and the Caitlin Clark yesterday. You had uh, the Chicago Sky and the uh, Indiana Fever going at it. And you had, uh, you know, two big-time players from the college ranks that are now rookies in the WNBA going at it. Bit of a rivalry between those two players and those two teams. And uh, I was more than entertained watching the WNBA. See, kids, if you want to be cool someday, you have to admit some weird shit. And then somebody writes, are you trolling us? No, I'm not. I like the WNBA. You know who else liked the WNBA? Kobe Bryant. So I'm in good company. For whatever reason, I like watching the damn WNBA. And Angel Reese, she's got legs for days. And I think she like plays uh, with like false uh, false eyelashes. You, you, you never saw Larry Bird playing with false eyelashes. That would have been impressive. Playing an NBA game with false uh, eyelashes like Angel Reese. So yeah, I'm not trolling. I like the dub w w WNBA. Kind of like it a little bit. Is that all right with you? I hope so. Sounds good. We'll definitely see a good day in time. Thanks, brother. All right, podcast media. All right. Skull, whatever that means. Andy Violent Footloose, where everybody who's angry goes to the warehouse to dance. <laughs> yeah, stupid Footloose. Man, if you're a younger person, right, and you want to see how stupid our movies were, well, let's give them a list of stupid movies from when we were growing up. Uh, can, can we do that, Andy Vollen? you got a responsibility today on the live stream. I'm going to put uh, Flashdance and Footloose on that list of movies that were so ridiculous and embarrassing. These tough teenagers, right? I think, I think uh, was it like Sean Penn's brother in... In uh, Footloose, he's a tough kid, and he's getting behind the hole. We need to do some of that dancing. How about you need to be doing some of that hawk tooey? If you really want to pitch off the uh, piss off the elders of the church, you can do some hawk tooies. Hi, Bob. How are you? I don't know why I'm fired up this morning. I think I'm fired up because we had to sit in the house uh, for most of the day yesterday. Oh, woe is me. I know. I know. Look, I know. I know I say stupid shit. But look, if you're fortunate enough to have this, right, um, you don't want to be inside when it's 80, 85 degrees out because the wind is 
is literally blowing the skin off your face, so you have to sit inside all day and watch this stupid WNBA. Wait, I thought he... Now I gotta... Now I'm gonna wonder, was he... Is he trolling us here now? Right about now, this funk soul brother. Footloose 2, Electric Boogaloo. Wait, was there really a Footloose 2? Wait, I, wait a minute. Was there a Footloose 2? Or was the movie just called Electric Boogaloo? Oh my god, now I don't know, Red Bird. Are you, are you now trolling me? Hi, Tommy Festa. How are you, brother? Good to see you, as always, of course. Uh, George is in the room. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Worst day, uh, worst day, uh, wor- oh, worst, I think you want to say worst dancing movie ever is Breakin. I never saw Breakin. After Footloose and Flash Dance, I was like, you know, I think I'm done with the dancing movies. No more dancing movies. I gotta try to find some chicks. <laughs> I ain't sitting. I ain't sitting home next to mommy watching any more dancing movies. No, thank you. Oh, yeah, Saturday Night Fever was another dancing movie. Oh, my God, I forgot about the Saturday Night Fever. Ah, the guys in dancing competitions. What? What are you doing? Go get a job. You know why I couldn't be in, in any dancing competitions when I was growing up? Because I had to make a goddamn living. So I was a caddy. I didn't have time to practice my dance moves and go out at night and, and, and enter some dance competitions. I had to make money for the household. I had to caddy my balls off. So the kid had no chance to be a dance star. The Outsiders, any modern film. The Outsiders is greater than any modern film. All right, but we're talking about the dumb movies when we were growing up. Uh, Mr. Ross Dog's Broken Spirit. You know, I... Ross Dogs, you're going to have to give me $5 for failing uh, the assignment. I'm sorry. It's just how it goes around here. Add fame to the list of those movies, please. Oh, fame. We're going to live forever. No, you're not. Most of the cast is dead. Too much. Too much for a Monday. For a Mundi. Uh, it was breaking to Electric Boogaloo. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Andy Vollum. Remember all the breakdancing movies too, Opie. LOL, Breakin', Beat Street, Breakdance, the movie. Lots of uh, dancing movies in the 80s. Yeah, I, I don't... Who the hell was in charge in Hollywood? You know, they can't get enough of these dance movies. No, we can. We actually can. We can. Staying Alive, Saturday Night Fever uh, 2, garbage movie. Yeah, right on. Okay. Morning Monday, a boo. Oh my God, the wind's kicking up again. Well, enough with the wind. It is freezing out here. I know a lot of you in some kind of weird heat wave. We never felt it. It is downright chilly on the deck today because uh, that ocean is still really, really cold and the wind is about 16 miles an hour, if you need to know, coming from the southwest, hitting me right in the damn back. Uh, a stupid 80s film was Spiders from Mars starring David Bowie. You know what? Um, I don't think I ever saw that movie. I know they were trying to make David Bowie into a, into a movie star because he was a rock star. You know, a lot of, a lot of these people when I was growing up, they weren't, they weren't happy enough with the, the thing they were good at. So you had like comedians trying to be rock stars, rock stars trying to be movie stars, uh, movie stars trying to be rock stars. And it never, it never really worked, to be honest with you. How about those astronauts trapped on the station? They have about a, another month to go. What, what's going on? Wait, what? We can't get a rocket up to the space station? How about those astronauts trapped on the station? They have about another month to... Wait, we got astronauts stuck in space and all we're talking about is Hawk Tui? Brian, could you honestly tell me what the hell's going on? Because I really... I really don't know. I know this much, that Titanic sub that imploded, killing those people instantly, that was that was a year ago, a uh, year ago already. Crazy. Uh, you're stuck in the airport, it stinks. Imagine being trapped up there. No, tell me what's going on with the astronauts. I truly don't know. I was too busy watching uh, Angel Reese and her legs for days. Uh... 
beat the crap out of Hunchback Caitlin Clark. <laughs> <laughs> As my brother used to say, Caitlin Clark is a handsome woman. She's a handsome lady. <laughs> Jesus. Oh man. We we were brought up in a pretty effed up environment, so you gotta bear with us. You gotta you gotta like you gotta grade on a curve. We were we were we were uh, brought up in a, a bit of a different uh, different way. Another Boeing product. Yeah, but what's going on with the space thing? I need to know what's going on with the space thing. You know, I, I need to I need to be informed on these damn live streams. Uh, let's see. They have tons of moon pies. Oh, they got the moon pies up there. They'll be all right. Okay. Brian Parnas, they lost T5 out of 25 thrusters on the way, and they're having many issues going on with the ship. They don't know if they can make it back. What ship? Is it some kind of... Are we going to, like, uh, the moon or something, or is this on the way to the uh, International Space Station? What's going on? For real, I need to know even more than that. Please. In the meantime, can we talk about Miracle Whip and how much it sucks? Miracle Whip, you're not getting away with this one. Nah, 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 nah. Because, see, see, I was a customer of Miracle Whip when I was growing up because we were so poor. Instead of getting the real stuff, the mayonnaise, we had to get the Miracle Whip. And, you know, the Miracle Whip, they can't call it mayonnaise. It stinks. And they try to tell us it doesn't stink and it's a good alternative to mayonnaise. Well, it's not. Get yourself... A beautiful uh, two slices of bread, right? Just make it beautiful. Then lightly toast it. Then put, uh, let's go uh, a nice, healthy Swiss cheese. Maybe some nice, thinly sliced ham. Maybe some fresh iceberg lettuce. A slice of a juicy tomato, right? A little salt and pepper, right? And then it's time for the mayonnaise, but all you got is Miracle Whip. Know what you do with that sandwich? You throw it in the garbage. You throw the whole thing out. No, no, and no. Give me a bruised apple and some powdered milk, and I'm out on those greens 18 hours a day, breaking my back. You got that right, Aldo? Although our go-to meal at uh, at the Huntington Crescent Club, we'd go to the the local the local the local deli and we'd get a uh, an orange juice and a buttered roll that was breakfast before we hit the course uh okay it is the international space station having some problems ah they'll figure it out right they'll figure it out i think i don't know uh i didn't even know that was going on on the international uh, space station no idea Cannibal women in the avocado jungle of death, 80s. Jeez, dude, you 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 watch some weird movies, Mr. Watson. Is that a college film? Not the worst at a college film. Hey, you want to watch my college film? No, I don't. Miracle Whip is ass. Thank you, Eddie, Eddie Edwards. You know, you know what's funny about Miracle Whip? Say anything about Miracle Whip on your Twitter. This is a fun game for you. Because I already did it, and it worked. Say anything bad about Miracle Whip on the Twitter, and they will block you. <laughs> they take it very seriously. Because <laughs> they know they're stuck with the alternative to mayonnaise. <sighs> oh, that's just... that. You're a no-frills brand. No one wants to be a no-frills brand. Miracle Whip sandwiches rule when you're drunk. Oh, my God. What, just, just a Miracle Whip and bread? Holy crap. All right. Jeez. I'm not a maniac. My flash dance top is... is if, the, if, if this thing falls over my shoulder, I'm going to lose half my goddamn audience. Uh, Kyle. Good morning from an airplane. Hey, Kyle. Works on the... P- Wait, Kyle, were you working uh, the Travelers yesterday? Please tell me you were on the 18th hole with those dumb protesters with their baby powder. Oh, look, we did it. We're on the green. And they're just getting crushed by security. I loved it. Here, have a face full of sod. Oh, they crushed them. And then, you know what? Within two minutes, no one gave a shit about the dumb protesters. We don't even know what you were protesting. You and your stupid baby powder were thrown in the back of a uh, patrol car and taken to the local jail. And guess what? And then we watched a, a glorious ending to another fine PGA tournament. 
last tournament of the PGA, right? I think before the playoff and all that, and before the uh, the British Open. Ross Dog's broken spirits. All how you look at it. The WNBA got some eh headed is. Well, they got some lookers too, my friend. You need a you need to look better. You need to get those eyes checked. Legs for days. We were brainwashed as kids thinking Miracle Whip was mayo. Yeah, of course. It stinks. It stinks. What's up, John? How are you? Good morning to you. I hope you're one of ours, John Saxon. If you're not, get the hell out of here. Hi, Leslie Larson. How are you? I guess Trump was down in Philly having a little rally. We got to debate this week. Man, I haven't watched the politics in a while. I know I know Biden's bragging this morning. Look, let me make it simple for you. I don't like Biden. I don't like Trump. I mean, you know, th- then there'll be people that will spin it. You can't you can't you can't fight those people. If they don't want to uh, base anything on like reality, then you, then you lose. You lose every time. But the fact is, I don't like Biden. I don't like Trump. And, and today Biden uh, is bragging that he could stretch. That he can take his left leg Right, you know how you take your left leg right, and and you got your hand on your ankle, and then you pull your leg back, and it hits your butt. Your heel hits uh hits your butt. Well, he couldn't get the heel to the butt, but he's still bragging that he could stretch. And then uh, whoever's writing his Twitter is like, "Let's see Trump do this." It's like, "Oh, that's what we're down to, are we? We're gonna pick a president that might be able to stretch a little bit. That's good. That's good for America." But the bit uh, the debate is this week. I'll be watching that, sure. I gotta tune in for the debate, right? Should be fun, I guess. What the f is Miracle Whip? You don't even know what Miracle Whip is. All right, let me uh, let me uh, let me look up the Miracle Whip because honestly, I don't even know how to um, explain it. You know, I mean, let's be honest, man. When you're in the mood, mayo could be the greatest thing to eat on Earth. When you're in the mood, Miracle Whip. Ready for this? Miracle Whip is a condiment uh, manufactured by Kraft Heinz and sold throughout the United States and Canada. It's also sold by blah, blah, blah. Oh, look, they don't even want to tell you. It was developed as a less expensive alternative to mayonnaise in 1933. Ingredients. Here we go. Uh, Water, soybean oil, high fructose corn syrup, vinegar, modified corn starch, egg, salt, natural flavor, mustard flour, potassium sorbate, spice, and dried garlic. And because of the corn syrup, it's also sweeter compared to mayonnaise. Good for you. Mayonnaise still still rules and you suck. I'm obsessed with mayonnaise now. There's a, there's a few things I only have a couple of times a year. Because, you know, mayonnaise is just horrible for you. But it's amazing, right? Nice shirt doesn't come in minutes. I already made fun of my own shirt, Brian. This is my... This is literally a sleep shirt. It's really... Like, it's so soft. It's... Oh, just think of your softest shirt. And then it's got this giant collar that looks like... It makes me look like I'm in flash dance. I'm praying, uh, like, I don't lose it over the shoulder. Oh my god, see, it doesn't look, and then I could go like that, maybe. Uh, yeah, so there's a couple things I only eat a couple times a year, and one of them is mayonnaise, man. I'll slop that mayonnaise on a good ham and Swiss uh, sandwich, lightly toasted bread, salt and pepper, fresh iceberg for the crunch, and a juicy tomato for the juice, for the hock to Um, and then I just, just just smear it. No, is it a slathering? A smattering? Let's just put it this way. A lot of mayo. We're just falling out the side of the sandwich. But I only do that a couple times a year because I know it's not healthy. Uh, and then hot dogs is the other thing. God, I can eat hot dogs every day, but I'm like, ah, you gotta pick your you gotta pick your spots sparingly with the hot dogs, kid. Kyle, oh, you were on the 12th grade? That was a hell of a tournament, though. I love that Tom Kim. There was, a, there was a documentary. People are always asking me for documentary recommendations because I did a documentary show back in the day with, that I really, really like doing with the Stangle Brothers. And uh, I haven't been able to get that thing going ever since, unfortunately. But um, 
On Netflix, they uh, they have a, uh, a PGA documentary where they feature like a few players every season. And on the last one, the last season, they had Tom Kim, and he's just a Korean dude. He's a bit on the chubby side. He walks around the PGA Tour like a kid. He collects kid stuff. At the Masters, he was walking into the areas of the of uh, the clubhouse where you're not allowed to go unless you want a green jacket. But all he wanted to do, all Chubby wanted was a was a snack before his round. And then he's also the guy that, you know, his ball went into some kind of bog, some kind of some kind of mud. It was I don't know what you call it. It was I, I, there was sort of water, but more mud. And his ball went in there, and he's like, ah, fuck it, I'll hit it from there. So he took half his clothes off, and and he took his shoes and socks off, and he, he hiked his pants up. And by the time he got out of there, he was just filled with mud, and the rest of the players just made fun of him. Tom Kim rules, but then he choked on the uh, on the uh, the playoff hole, giving Scotty Scheffler another uh, tour victory. My God. My God, man. Uh, yeah, the playoffs coming up. I have a few weeks off. All right, so you'll be back for the uh, for the uh, the playoffs, the PGA playoffs. The next tournament to look forward to is obviously the British Open. And Brian Harmon, uh, an old fan of Opie and Anthony, uh, his wife went to my uh, alma mater, Geneseo. He won the British Open last year, and I I congratulated him, and he wrote me back. Yeah, he wrote me a uh, you know, it was a copy and paste. But at least he got back to me. I was so happy for him winning the British Open. So congratulations. It was pretty awesome. Haktui and spit on that thing. Interesting stream name. Uh, hey, what's up? I uh, can't live with him. Do, 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 do. You went to the Trump rally? You know, I would... Um, I kind of regret that I didn't go to any Trump rallies. I think the people watching at a Trump rally would be absolutely amazing. Wouldn't you go for the poli? No, no, I wouldn't go for the. Po- Why would I go to the for the politics? No, I would go for the show. I would go to a, a Trump rally for the show, for the people watching. That's it, and, and a cheesesteak. Goddamn cheesesteak! All Trump had to do was mention cheesesteaks on that stage. He would have won. He would have won uh, Pennsylvania. That's all you have to do. Good morning, Ivan. I'm not, hey, Ope, what's going on with Stuttering John? I'm not in the Stuttering John world. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to disappoint people. They want me in the Stuttering John world. I'm not in the Stuttering John world. I don't know anything about the guy. Uh, and that's it. They got Biden on a seven-day lockdown. What could they be doing to him medically besides making it so he could stretch? Oh, really? They're locking him down? They're resting him up? Recharging his batteries? Putting on a new mask? There are people out there that are completely convinced that uh, the Biden we see is not uh, the original Biden, that they switched him out uh, a year or two ago. People are seriously convinced of this. They are completely convinced of this. And they also uh, they also think he might have a mask, that they actually now have a mask on him because he's so damn old that uh, it would horrify everybody. So they, uh, they have a mask on the Biden. There are people in this world that walk among us that believe this. Now, the Michelle Obama one... <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not on board yet. But, you know, it is very interesting that Joan Rivers called her a tranny back in the day. Very... But I'm not on board. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm on board. I didn't order my Michelle Obama as a man t-shirt yet. But Joan Rivers calling her a tranny at the end of her life, that, that was a bit interesting. I'll just say that. Hey, what's good, Obster? What's up, Craig uh, Heffley? How are you? Mayo with the tang. Yeah, that miracle whip is just, uh, no. 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 No, no, no. You ever make mayo, Ope? Yeah, you can make mayo, right? What is it, uh... Isn't it just egg? What is it, mayo? I'm going to go uh, eggs and oil, right? Isn't that almost a, about it? It's the egg whites, or our mayo would look yellow, right? Egg whites. Some of that oil. 
or Earl, as my grandma would say, hey, hey can you pass the vinegar and Earl? And then, uh, and then uh, I would assume a little spice in there, but I don't know what the spice is in the mayo. I have no idea. Oh, what if some weird creature walked into frame behind you and just uh, stared at you? Well, that would be a problem. We, we, we all, we're all strapped out here. We're not stupid. That would be a big problem. <clears throat> Do you leave your mayo out or put in the fridge? I, I'm, I'm not responsible enough to have a jar of mayo in this house. So guess what? We don't have mayo in the house. Because I would be putting that on every th- everything. Everything. You had hot dogs for years growing up, sick of them. Bro, I, 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 you might have to go to a head doctor. How are you sick of hot dogs? <clears throat> I got a grill right over there, right? You got to grill the shit out of them. You got to make sure they're almost on the burnt side. Then you got to get the sauerkraut boiling on the stove. And then you got to get a little spicy mustard. What's wrong with you? I don't think... I think, uh, I think, no, I know. I'm going to say I know. The one food you cannot get sick of in this human experience is hot dogs. Name another food that you can't get sick of. I don't think you can do it. Don't say steak. Don't say pasta. What's the one food besides hot dogs that you could never get sick of. Uh, Hey, Dalton, what's going on, brother? How are you? Uh, Biden reminds me of Grandpa from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that's a good one. Egg yolks are in mayo, I thought. Okay, here it is. Eggs, olive oil, and citric acid makes mayonnaise. That's it. So why do they... Why do they get... To own mayonnaise, if that's all it is. Can't we all just do that? And then if we, like, uh, and then we make our own, like, mayonnaise, and then, like, what? We, we tell the people that are at your house, hey, by the way, we got fresh mayonnaise, and then next thing you know, you got to knock on your door, and they grab you and throw you into a black van for calling your uh, concoction mayonnaise. These products take their crap seriously. My God. My God, man. I got sick of eggs from eating those for breakfast every morning as a kid. Uh, yeah, I, eggs are... Look, all right, so hot dogs... Hot dogs is the one thing I think uh, that you can't get sick of. You can, you'll you never get sick of hot dogs, I don't think. Although we have a person in the room today that uh, got sick of hot dogs. I just don't believe it. And then uh, the most overrated food in the entire world is eggs. Eggs stink. You got to do everything with eggs to make them taste good. No one goes, hey, can I have an egg? No no one does that. But if you're like, hey, I'm making a scramble. That's for my Western New York people. I'm making an omelet. Uh, You want, uh, how much cheese do you want on your eggs? Oh, my God. Just pour the whole package on it, please. Eggs stink. They stink. Scott Watson goes with tacos. Tacos is tacos a thing you could never get sick of. Wow. 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 Yeah, man. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, man. There's also a debate is taco uh, is tacos a sandwich? Uh, those debates are stupid absolutely stupid I look at sandwiches as, as as like a bread product like like bread like think bread or rolls that's why I think hot dogs are actually a sandwich tacos aren't a tortilla is not a piece of bread so tacos not a sandwich next oh shit fried chicken fried chicken Oh, my God. You're right. You're right. All right. So, hot dogs is a food you can never get sick of. Fried chicken is a food you can never get sick of. 
and only recently, I don't even know who turned me on to this. I don't think it was Carl, and I don't think it was Vic. We went to this place called Ribbon on the Upper West Side. Me and Vic, that was our hangout. We would go to Ribbon and get fried chicken. And it came with a side of honey. And uh, my life has never been the same. I'm going to end with this thought, for real. My life has never been the same. I took my, my fried chicken and I dipped it in the honey. And good God, I've never turned back. Good God. And don't get the fake honey. Uh, I got, I got a lot to teach you fuckers. You know, most of the honey they sell in the goddamn supermarkets is barely honey. Because they're not really regulating the honey industry. That's why when you get a, you see a little farm stand with the, with the local honey, where it's just, it just, it looks like there's bees still in it. That's the honey you want. Okay? The stuff in the store. If, if you get like, um, if you get uh, one of those, what the, well, I don't know if I should say this because I don't want to get sued. But you know the honey that comes in like it looks like a cute little animal? And and then you're dipping your fried chicken in that? No. No. Don't do it. No. All right. I got to go. I got to go. Because now we do these live streams and I put them up on my podcast uh, feed, Opie Radio. So I'm trying to give you guys something to listen to in your stupid cars because we all hate our stupid cars after a while. So, uh, if you only watched a part of this uh, live stream, give me like 20 minutes, <clears throat> excuse me, and it will be on my uh, my podcast feed, Opie Radio. Okay? Okay. Goodbye. I'm out of here. We'll talk soon. Later. Cheers.